You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. How can you stand in Liberty University on student day, right? All the students of Liberty University and, and tell the students that are graduating with, with the deg degrees and, you know, secondary degrees or master's degrees, that the President of the United States says that wind form noise can cause cancer. I mean, how do the students of U Liberty University, how do the doctors that go to Southern Baptist churches or listen to evangelical radio, how do they interpret that? How do they... What do they say? He's crazy? So we just don't pay that other. We know that's not true. He's just crazy. But then why do you still support him if he's crazy? And if he's crazy, I mean, it's one thing to be crazy, but it's another thing to make a statement such as the noise from a propeller will give you cancer. How can a doctor or a lawyer or anybody of any means of education Accept this. So you say they're not accepted, Pastor. They rejected that he's just being, he's crazy. Then how can, you, do you want a crazy person as president? I don't, this is, this is, there is no explanation for that. It, not, not on that, we have to go to another level. What's the other level? Well, I promise not to inflict myself upon you any further. And the other level is that we're in the tribulation, and that's why this is happening. That's why. The only explanation is not a third world nation, because even third world nation dictators I mean, they do a lot of maniacal, if you will, dictator, dictatorial things, such as absolute power. Absolute power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. But they don't say crazy things, such as noise from a propeller will give you cancer. Or some of the other things that it's just a, a whole and, and Trump just says these things all day and all night and they're all unfounded. They're mathematically proven wrong. They're socially, spiritually proven inept. He is. And, and yet students at Liberty University say that's my president. I don't understand that. Well, I do. And the only way you can understand it is the fact they're in the tribulation. And because we're in the tribulation, such di di diabolical events, such degeneracy is now possible that, that God has moved his hand from a segment of the American populace God has moved his wisdom. He has turned them over to a reprobate mind. He has given them a spirit of delusion. And, and so it is, it is through, it is because of that, that such mega lunacy can now occupy, occupy the front fold, the top fold of the New York Times as news articles, because the structure that would have kept someone as, as, as ignorant and degenerate and despicable as tribulation Trump, the structure that will put in place of decency and some decorum of a democratic society or republic would have kept them out. But because God has moved it. Now, I've said this time and time and time again, and I know how easily it is rejected and it's very easy to reject it. But God has left the, the, a segment of white America, not just that he has left them to be devoured by Trump, but he has turned against them and he, has, he is promoting death to white evangelicals. And, 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 and that's just all there is to it. Now, that's hard to conceive you. But, you know, were I to say that God caused and pronounced death upon the, the Jews that came out of Egypt on that dreadful Passover night and anyone that was over 20 years of age, when they came out that night, God pronounced death of them, that they would die in the wilderness, that they would not see the promised land, that God put a curse on them, and millions of people died out there in the Sinai Peninsula. In fact, if you go down beyond the Dead Sea, 
over in Israel into the Sinai Peninsula and around that mighty mountain, that mighty, mighty mountain of Mount Sinai. There are so many dead people's bones out there. It's probably one of the biggest graveyards in an 11 mile skit of any place on planet Earth. One of the biggest graveyards where God killed more people than Saddam Hussein or more people than Vladimir Lenin or more people than Mao Zedong. Right there in the Sinai Peninsula is a dead man's graveyard around Mount Sinai. But my point of that is that God pronounced death and God has pronounced death upon white evangelicals. And, and other Japheth people as well. And he has removed from them a sense of warning. He has removed the alarm systems out of their psyche. And their president can stand up in Liberty University and say to students studying to get medical degrees that noise from a propeller, propeller in a wind form will give you cancer. It has no scientific foundation to it whatsoever. It has no basis of argument whatsoever, but a doctor is studying at Liberty University who God has removed all sense of propriety from will accept that and will continue to cheer and promote Trump to his children. It's incredible, absolutely unbelievable. But my friends, that's the world that we're living in right now, and we're living in the tribulation. Were we not in the tribulation, Trump would not be accepted. Were we not living before the tribulation came, before the tribulation came, those same persons of the white evangelical or Japheth people that support Trump called him a dog, a lowlife, a New York hustler, a thief, a pimp, a playboy. These same people, when they had, when God was with them, when God was with them, when Jesus was with Franklin Graham, if that was ever the case, but I'll say, I don't know if he was ever with Franklin Graham, but in the general sense of white evangelical Southern Baptist, when Jesus was with Japheth, the white evangelicals, they said, and they had their senses, they had their anointing and spirit guiding anointed word. When they had those qualities from Jesus, they called Trump a playboy, a bankruptcy king, a liar, a hustler, uh, a thief, uh, a con man, a pathological degenerate, a liberal. When, they, when God was with them, that's what they called Trump. Now that God has deserted them, he has abandoned them. Now that God has abandoned them, they call Trump God. They call Trump a savior. I mean, imagine going from calling a man a pathological degenerate, a whoremonger, a con man, a thief, a bankruptcy king, to calling him a savior. And if you take the time at some point, when you have the time, perhaps you're not gonna give me the credit for opening up your understanding at this level, but at some point in time, you may sit down and, and let me just consider, let me listen to the good Dr. Manning's assessment again about the tribulation and about Trump alleging amid a, a number of other things that are equally as crazy that wind form noise cause cancer. And let me look carefully at the fact that the pastor is saying that when God was with us and we had the wisdom and the, we had the blessings of God, we called Trump a whoremonger, a playboy, a degenerate, a pathological liar, a bankruptcy king. We call him those things because that's who he was. And we had the wisdom and the vision and the anointing to see that. The reason why we're calling him our savior now is because God Almighty, who is or was our savior, has deserted us and left us bereft of civil or spiritual or anointed judgment. And we can't help ourselves except to lick this fool's boots. We can't help ourselves because we have no direction from God. He is not delivering us. He is not speaking to us. And we are left to deal with something as degenerate 
as tribulation trump. Think about that for a second. You know, you, 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 some of you listen to me, and those of you who, who listen to me and know that we are in the tribulation, who understand that process, you know, make this argument. Make this argument to some of those Southern Baptist people or those uneducated Japheth men. Make this argument to them. If you still don't speak in terms of them, you know, listen to this two or three times so you can really get the, the strength of what I'm saying and, and, and cat put it in the right categories and, and say, you know, you know why you're doing this is because why are you calling a man you used to identify as a degenerate, you are not calling your savior. It doesn't make sense. We let a man who says that noise from a propeller causes cancer and doctors and lawyers sitting up in Southern Baptist churches tell their children that he is the greatest president ever. You know, just argue that. Just argue that to those who are Trump supporters. You may not get very far, but understand that this what, what, what Almighty God has allowed us to experience it today. I'm James Every Manning, everybody. I am the Lord's servant. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.